Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video, I thought I would show you some basic commands with System D. Uh, since Ubuntu has recently, or will eventually uh, ship with System D as they're in its system, so I'll just show you some basic stuff. Uh, one of my favorite commands is uh, to find out what your boot time was. So if we type in System D dash analyze and click enter you'll find out that I it took 2.638 seconds for the kernel plus 29 seconds for my user space with a total of 31 seconds which isn't bad considering I'm not using a display manager or a login manager so to find out what's slowing up my system if we come back to the system D dash analyze and go to blame this will show everything that is taking up all the time. So as you see, Clam D, uh, which is an antivirus scanner, is taking up to 17.931 seconds. So if I wanted to eliminate that, this goes into another aspect of System D that is personally I feel is much quicker than the uh, the old system that Ubuntu shipped with. So if we go sudo system ctl disable and then clam d dot service this will uh, this will take the sim link off of it and next time I reboot it won't take as long to boot into it. So the the clam D is actually the daemon of clam scan, which again is a antivirus. So uh as we look up here again, uh network manager uh I like to use is four point three seconds. And then you can just go down to see what's taking up. I have seen boot times in like the one second, two second mark because they just took a lot of this stuff out of there. An another thing that you guys can do is if you want to disable GDM which is the uh, login manager for uh, for GNOME or if you don't have it and or decide not to install it, install it and try to symlink it with systemd then you would like then you'd go something similar sudo system ctl enable and then you go gdm and then this would also uh if i restarted my computer this would boot into the gdm login manager which could take longer uh depending on how much resources and how much uh programs you have and how much you know music and everything else like that could take so this was going to be a very short one so uh, there are many other things that you can do with this if you wanted to restart a, a service so let me re-enable clam scan really fast uh, just delete this so enable clam d dot service It would help if I spelled clam correctly. So now if for whatever reason this service was acting up and I wanted to reboot it, all you would do instead of enable, you would just do restart. And that would reboot your clam. So say you had a, uh, a Samba server or you set up a email server and again those things are acting up for some reason. You can go in here and find out this and restart it. Or if you want you can go into system CTL and find out what the what's going on with it. Or there's another thing called journal ctl uh, 
and then you can find out all like since reboot you can find out what's going on if there's any errors you just scroll down here so if there were any errors uh, like right here pulse audio failed I would because of the module uh, forgot to load so that's an issue that I have to fix later and then it just shows you all the failed or warnings for um, Oh yeah, here's another one. I don't know what that is, so I would have to look this up. So if there's anything that went wrong in your system, you can look it up in a log file like this, find out what's going on at what point, and then you would want to uh, try to fix that aspect instead of having to trying to figure out what the issue is without any log files and find out what part of this boot up process that that's having issues with. So that's all I have for this uh, video guys. If you have any questions or more in-depth video on System D, please uh, comment down below. Give it a like if you like this and I will see you guys later.